Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys? I hope you're good. I know I haven't been so active in the last uh, time on YouTube and um, I have my own reasons and I will probably gonna tell you uh, soon but it's still work in progress. Um, what I want to tell is uh, that uh, it's something really big, something important for me and uh, for this year a lot for me and it has to do with uh, my accident but um, I'm really excited about it and uh, it will come soon uh, but in today's video I want to share about um, an uh, experiment actually where I participated uh, this year and uh, that's uh, about uh, Wim Hof. Probably everyone of, I hope, or I hope that um, a lot of people heard about Wim Hof, the Iceman. And um, he, with some uh, people around him, decided to start an experiment to see the effects of that, of uh, uh, the effects of his method on people with uh, disability and yeah people with a spinal cord injury actually so I've been contacted uh, and asked if I want to participate and I was like why not I know from my brother that he is uh, passionate about uh, Wim Hof and uh, his uh, method so, uh, well, like you guys know, I'm always open for uh, things like this. So I said, well, why not? Just try it. You don't know what, uh, what you can get. So uh, I uh, enrolled uh, to this experiment and uh, it was seven weeks. Seven weeks uh, of uh, exercises, briefing exercises but also cold exercises and the cold exercises would prepare us in the seven weeks for an ice bath for the end so uh, now the ice bath it was something optional but what do you think I just said like okay I'm just here in I'm just gonna try it I'm just gonna do it doesn't matter and you know the experiment has uh, the purpose to see if we also can get warm after a cold shower or after an ice bath because uh, it is known that people with a disability and people with a spinal cord injury the blood circulation underneath the uh, spinal cord injury is bad it's just bad and uh, we have a lot of times cold legs and they need a lot of time to get warm at least in my case I don't know if you have another experience just let me know in the comments below because I'm really curious but I have like 80% of the time like cold legs even in the summer I cannot complain at least here in the Netherlands I cannot complain that it's too warm no maybe in other countries like Italy or Romania it can be warm for me also but here with maybe 30 degrees no because here in the Netherlands there is a lot of wind as uh, some of you might know but anyway uh, this experiment uh, I uh, got in so uh, we had also to do exercises uh, briefing exercises at home and cold showers at home so I started uh, with a cold shower slowly and we did an uh, ice bath for the hands uh, to prepare for the ice bath but actually the ice bath for the hands is worse than the actual ice bath and I can tell you why because at the hand you have a lot of uh, nerves comparing with the other parts of the bodies so is also more sensitive and it was really 
uh, yeah, how can I say it? A fight. Because anyway, the cold showers of the ice bath is not supposed to be more than two minutes. So also the ice bath for the hand was not supposed to be more than two minutes. But these two minutes, I was like fighting to keep them because my hands would gonna spasm and contract in the water. It was like, oh, I can, I cannot. Oh, I just want to take my hands out, but I, you know, it's just the power of the mind that you have to fight and to think, oh, it's not cold, it's not cold, I, I can take it. Uh, so, uh, as you're gonna see in uh, two short videos, I took um, a uh, cold bath at the centrum of Wimov here in the Netherlands. Uh, I got a great opportunity to be there and uh, to, to actually take a cold bath. It's a kind of a standing bath where you get inside and uh, uh, you basically stand. But because my legs would react immediately at the contact with the cold water, yeah, I was not actually able to sit because in this standing bath there is a kind of small seat where you can sit. But in my case, I could not. I was not actually able to sit. But the moment I was in, uh, yeah, you you see it in the video. I was just uh, able to stay uh, inside there. I would not feel the cold. And also, actually, outside there was pretty cold, maybe like four degrees. And also, the water was like five degrees, maybe. Uh, but it was really interesting and uh, I can tell you that Wim Hof is just a great uh, person. Uh, I met him in real life and I'm just like wow about, about him and about what he does. Um, and uh, in the end uh, the ice bath, as uh, you see in the video, um, I have uh, some photos and videos. It was first one week before the ice bath. I was like, mm, we had to practice that day for uh, the cold session um, to, to just go outside, not with a jacket. It was still cold outside, maybe like seven degrees outside. Uh, not with a jacket, maybe in a short uh, sleeve, if uh, we had on. But I was feeling a bit shitty, let's say. So, um, I was not really in the mood, so I was like, okay, I'm going out, but not without a jacket, but uh, not in short sleeves, just with a, uh, yeah, something like this. On and uh, just to stay there like uh, 15 minutes and try to to uh, adapt to the cold. And uh, the week before, the the week after, we had the ice bath. So I was like, okay, the day I switched something in my mind and I was like full of adrenaline. Okay, just do it and. Uh, as you saw in the video, it's just like the moment I was inside. Oh, I was just uh, could stay there for uh, yeah. I don't know for for uh, endless, but but uh, it it was yeah. It was pure uh, yeah pure craziness. Uh, it is crazy how. Uh, you can trick your mind uh, and you can do whatever you want to achieve and I always say this is how also li in life goes you can you can achieve whatever you want if you want of course so it's just an incredible uh, experience and uh, of course now the experiment is uh, done I'm uh, Still not having Wim of in my routine, like doing it every day, 
but I'm uh, doing it sometimes. The only thing is that with the cold sessions, I still don't see an effect like getting warm because the cold showers, for example, are supposed to improve your blood circulation um, and uh, that you get warm. Of course, the cold showers are supposed um, to be uh, at the end of a shower, like for example, you just shower normally in the beginning. Uh, and at the end you just switch uh, on cold water for uh, 30 seconds to 2 minutes and um, that uh, supposedly will uh, uh, warm up uh, your body faster uh, because you give a shock to your body but I didn't see really improvement uh, in my case but anyway, uh, it is a good um, uh, method, uh, the breathing exercises, uh, I find them really important because it's not just that you uh, um, breathe, that's what we all do, but you also uh, have a moment for yourself. So if you have a stressful day, then doing these uh, breathing exercises uh, it's just, uh, yeah, takes the stress away. So that was, guys, that I wanted to share with you today. Uh, I will try to be more active, but it's, uh, yeah, it's being a bit busy in my life and um yeah let me know what you think about it uh what do you think uh if you ever done a, a briefing exercise from wim Hof that actually by the way you don't need to have the app precisely but you can also have uh, follow the videos on uh, youtube uh, just to do the exercises the briefing exercises and you can find a lot of uh, information about uh, his method uh, on YouTube, of internet. Uh, also about the cold showers, of uh, the ice bath and so. Uh, of course we did uh, these exercises and the cold sessions under uh, the... Um, uh, uh, with, with help of uh, physiotherapists, uh, of, uh, uh, yeah, of the therapists uh, that would... Uh, watch us to see what happens with our body for example with the cold showers uh, and for example in my case it increased my uh, blood pressure and uh, I don't know guys if I ever told you but my blood pressure is really low really low so uh, this is also a good improvement uh, for my body that it increases my blood pressure uh, but anyway, we did uh, everything uh, with the uh, help of uh, people that know about his method. And um, let me know if you ever did uh, this, I'm really curious. And uh, I'm curious to see what the effect of, uh, if you think it's just bullshit, everything uh, can. Everything is possible. Uh, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye!